After the loss to the Indiana Pacers on Sunday, it became clear that the Miami Heat won't secure the sixth position in the Eastern Conference. This means they'll have to secure their playoff spot through the play-in, and indications are that their first opponent there will be the Philadelphia 76ers. Although the sixth position is almost out of reach, the Heat will attempt to at least steal the seventh position from the 76 ears to have the play-in showdown played in Florida. To do so, they primarily need to win the remaining three games, starting with the one against the Dallas Mavericks. This is the part of the season when Eric Spolster's team starts playing their best basketball. Jimmy Butler is gradually finding his form, Bam Adebayo can dominate in both ends of the court, and Tyler Harrow and Duncan Robinson will need to shoot at high percentages when the play-in begins. The Miami Heat have achieved all their good results in recent years through their excellent defense. That's precisely the recipe they can use to defeat the Dallas Mavericks. They'll need to be maximally aggressive against Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving and hope that makes the difference in their favor. The Dallas Mavericks are in fifth position in the Western Conference and are likely to remain there when the playoffs begin. It appears they'll face familiar rivals, the Los Angeles Clippers, in the playoffs. Head coach Jason Kidd will use these remaining three games to further prepare some players. It's a fact that Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving look much better together than anyone predicted. Irving doesn't have the issue of stepping aside when necessary, and he can also be dominant, as seen in the recent victory against the Houston Rockets. Dante Exum has integrated well and is playing the best basketball of his life, while P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford have proven to be excellent additions. The Mavericks definitely have the potential to achieve great things in the playoffs this season, but they'll also need a bit of luck, especially when it comes to avoiding injuries. Games against the Miami Heat always remind the Dallas Mavericks of their last NBA Finals when they led by Dirk Nowitzki clinched the title. A potential victory in Florida this time would provide the team with additional confidence ahead of the expected series against the Clippers. In their only encounter this season, the Dallas Mavericks defeated the Miami Heat by 114-1-08 at home a month ago. From absences and injuries. Josh Richardson is injured and will not play for the Miami Heat, while Duncan Robinson is questionable. Derek Lively and Greg Brown are sidelined for the Dallas Mavericks. It's not unthinkable that some players might be rested by either coach since it seems their positions won't change much. The Miami Heat definitely have a bit more motivation and they'll surely bring a high defensive intensity here. That's also why we expect a lower scoring game compared to the offered line. Our prediction is under 217.5 points. Remember.